Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Madison Charlton from MLC Tech and today we're doing a video on some new vulnerabilities found in AMD Zen line of CPUs. Now AMD has recently disclosed a new BIOSide vulnerability across all of its Zen CPU generations, so that be any CPU that is Zen 1, Zen 2, Zen 3 or Zen 4. And these new vulnerabilities have particularly impacted the SPI connection, compromised security of these CPUs. So sit back and relax as we dive into these new security vulnerabilities and the steps AMD is taking to mitigate these risks. Now the emergence of new vulnerabilities across CPU architectures isn't surprising these days, but this time AMD has apparently discovered something much bigger impacting a more extensive customer base. And AMD has come out and listed the severity of C security vulnerabilities as high this time around. Previous vulnerabilities such as Spectre, otherwise known as speculative execution, was a vulnerability found purely on the CPU side, whereas this time around, the discovered vulnerabilities enter from your motherboard BIOS itself. And according to AMD, the consequences of these vulnerabilities include the ability to trigger arbitrary code and much more. So let's take a look at these security vulnerabilities and what this actually means for you at home. Now it's important to note that these vulnerabilities affect all generations of Zen CPUs. So let's take a look at the actual vulnerabilities that we have. The first vulnerability designated CVE-2023-20576 can allow an attacker to initiate a denial of service attack or escalate privileges due to insufficient authenticity verification in the BIOS. The two other vulnerabilities that we have are CVE-2320-577 and CVE-2023-2058-7. And these vulnerabilities can enable arbitrary code execution by granting access to the SPI flash through the system management mode. And the fourth vulnerability designated CVE-2320-579 can cause a loss of integrity and availability through improper access control in AMD's SPI protection feature. As scary as these vulnerabilities may sound, it's not all bad news, as AMD has issued new motherboard firmware patches and AGESA versions, with most CPUs already having received a patch to fix this vulnerability. However, not every Zen based CPU has received a patch to fix this vulnerability, and all users with AMD Ryzen processors from the last few years should check and update the motherboard firmware as soon as possible, especially if you haven't done so before 2023. And thankfully, AMD has published a chart detailing all of their line of CPUs with the minimum patch required in order to mitigate this vulnerability. And while this covers most Zen based CPUs, so is with Ryzen 3000 series desktop CPUs, 4000 series mobile APUs, and embedded V2000 chips or V3000 systems should exercise extra vigilance over the next few months, as we're still awaiting a patch for these vulnerabilities for those line of CPUs. Now AMD has said that an update plan for later this month will address the vulnerabilities for the 4000 series APUs, while we'll have to wait till March 2024 for a BIOS update to fix the 3000 series CPUs, and the affected embedded products will receive a patch in April this year. All other SEM based processors have received the relevant fixes and updates in between mid-2023 and earlier this month. The update that also mit mitigated last year's SEM bleed vulnerability attack also protects users against these new vulnerabilities AMD has disclosed today. But it's very important to update your BIOS if you haven't done so already and there are several ways to check and update your BIOS version. In most modern PCs, both are possible. it is possible to directly do this from the BIOS itself. After entering the BIOS by pressing the indicated buttons during the system's initial boot up, the version number should appear on the main menu. And some motherboards have automatic update functions, but this can vary depending on the motherboard manufacturer and how you have your motherboard set up as well. But if you're unable to do this directly within your BIOS, you can also do this within Windows. All you need to do within Windows is launch your system information app by typing into search MS Info into the taskbar. The version and date should appear on the list on the right panel. And if your BIOS version isn't up to date, the latest BIOS versions can usually be found directly on the support section on the motherboard map manufacturer's support page. And these days, flashing your BIOS and updating to the latest version is super easy to do. A lot of motherboard manufacturers also offer automatic updates through optional management software. Personally, I'm not a fan of having all these extra softwares on my PC, so I prefer to do a manual update. I've downloaded my BIOS file to a USB stick and manually updating it directly in the BIOS. Though if you're someone who's more of a novice user, see software packages make it super easy for you to update your BIOS without having to know too much of what you are doing. But I highly recommend that you go in and check your BIOS version and update to the latest version as soon as you can, as it is very important that you patch these vulnerabilities in your system. 
Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions on this topic in the comments down below. What do you think of these vulnerabilities that AMD has disclosed today? And are you glad that AMD has taken the steps to patch and mitigate these issues? Or are you someone who is running a slightly older platform such as Ryzen 3000 and you're a bit worried with the use of your computer at the moment while you wait for the new patch to reach your CPU? Let me know all of that in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you once again for watching today's video and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye for now.